good morning in today's class uh, we will discuss about lorentz force what is lorentz force now you consider a point charge let us say we have a point charge q we have a point charge q and the q is moving with a velocity v we have a moving charge q let us have a moving charge which is moving with a velocity v and it is actually moving in the presence of both fields both fields i mean to say both in the presence of magnetic field and the electric field a charge q is moving with velocity v in the presence of both magnetic field and electric field now the net force acting on the charge will be now the sum of electric field the force due to electric field and the force due to magnetic field f electric plus f magnetic there will be two forces acting on the charge one due to the electric field another due to the magnetic field so what i can conclude is in the presence of electric field and the magnetic field the net force on a moving charge particle is called uh, is the sum of the force due to electric field and the force due to the magnetic field and this force is called as lorentz force in presence of magnetic field and electric field in that means a particle is moving in the presence of both the field in presence of electric field e and magnetic field b the net force on a moving charged particle is called the net force on a moving charged particle is called lorentz force lorentz force this force is given by given by the force is given by net force f is equal to force due to electric field plus force due to magnetic field here you can take you know electric field e and magnetic field b as vectors therefore f can be written as we know the force due to electric field is q into v q into e q into electric field plus the force due to magnetic field is q s v cross b q into v cross b this also we have seen in the last class so now if i take you outside i'll get it as e plus e plus v cross b this is the net force acting on a moving charged particle in the presence of electric field and the magnetic field when both the fields are present and this force is called as lorentz force and here remember 
uh, we have studied the property of the force due to a magnetic field and we have seen that this force the force due to magnetic field will not accelerate the charged particle whereas the electric field force that means the force due to electric field accelerates the charged particle at rest or it can ma make the charged particle to move or if the charge is already moving it will further accelerate it or if the charged particle is moving in the direction opposite to the electric field then it retards the charge those things we have seen in the previous class uh, the properties of force due to the magnetic field so remember one thing the force due to magnetic field fm cannot accelerate the charged particle it can only change the direction whereas the force due to electric field can accelerate or retard the charge depending upon the direction of the uh, moving charge and also the direction of uh, the electric field in which the charge is moving and how the direction of electric field whether it is along or in the opposite direction now we'll take up some problem based on this force now you may take down this two particles a and b write down this two particles a and b two particles a and b of masses m and 2m of masses m and 2m have charges q and tq respectively both these particles both these particles are moving with velocities v1 and v2 respectively v1 and v2 respectively in the same direction enter the same magnetic field b in the same direction enter the same magnetic field b enter the same magnetic field b acting normally to their direction of motion acting normally to their direction of motion if the two forces F A and F B, if the two forces F A and F B acting on them are in the ratio acting on them. are in the ratio 1 by half find the ratio of their velocities now for the first let us read and understand the problem two particles a and b of masses m and 2m have charges q and 2q respectively both these particles are moving with velocities v1 and v2 respectively in the same direction 
enter the same magnetic field B acting normally to their direction of motion. If the two forces Fa and Fb acting on them are in the same uh, in the ratio 1 by 2, find the ratio of their velocities. Now, first we will give write what are the given quantities. Given 2 particles A and B. So, mass of particle A is mass of particle A is M that is given. Mass of particle B is 2M. Also, they move with velocities V1 and V2. Velocity of particle A velocity of particle A is V1 velocity of particle B equal to V2 now force acting on particle A is we know in the presence of a magnetic field the force on a moving charge is given by F is QVB sin theta In the presence of a magnetic field B, the force acting on a charged particle Q moving with the velocity V is given by this. Now, let us apply this equation for this particular sum. Now, F A Q Now, because you know particles A and B of masses A and 2 M of charges Q and 2 Q respectively. Now, I can say that, uh, you know, mass of particle A is M and uh, the charge is, charge of particle A is Q, charge of particle A is Q. Similarly, given charge of particle B equal to 2Q. Therefore, F A is charge of particle A that is Q into the velocity is V1, V1 into the magnetic field is B itself given B and the direction, the angle between V and B is 90 degree in this case because acting normally to their direction of B. So, given theta is 90 degree. theta is 90 degree because they are acting normally to the direction of motion into sin theta 90. Similarly, force acting on particle B B as F B equal to Charge is now 2Q. 2Q into V2 into B and again same magnetic field and same angle. Now given Fa by Fe is half. Given Fa divided by of B is equal to half. Therefore, from these two equations, F A by F B can be written as 
also f a divided by f b is equal to f a is sin 90 is 1 so it is q into b 1 b divide by 2 q into b 2 b now Q, Q will cancel, B, B also will cancel. FA of B is half. So, substitute FA by FA is equal to half. Half is equal to B1 by B2. Or B1 by B2 is, uh, I mean, here V1 by 2 V2. 2 2 will get cancelled so v1 by v2 is half itself uh, sorry 1 because here v1 divided by 2 v2 is there therefore v1 divided by v2 is 1 by 1 1 the ratio of velocity is 1 the ratio of velocities of two particle is 1 because given f a by f b is half also v 1 by 2 v 2 we get the 2 2 get cancelled and hence v 1 by v 2 is 1 itself 